I was having a chat with a friend of mine who was very concerned about the tyrannical government that we have. And he would say, how is it that we're in this situation here in the 21st century? We've got things crumbling around us. We've got a, a system of government that are penalising us left, right and centre and, and putting in these policies that nobody's asked for. And I said to him, you sound like me. And he said, well, I agree with you. We do seem to have this problem, but how do we get out of it? And I said, well, I'm not sure, but I've got a few ideas. He said, we probably need to do what they did in history, rise up and use violence. And I said, no. I said, I know that's what people used to do in the past and we would see these, these riots and all the rest of it. I said, but you know, these people, they have some very sophisticated weapons uh, um, and big numbers of people. They've got the drones, they've got these lasers and all sorts of stuff that they could bring in against the people if they wanted to. I said, if we do anything to try and change things, we have to have the people with us. It's the people of this world on this land that we need on board with us. And he said, yes, I, I agree with that. I said, you know, the government is only a small number of people who, who seem to think that they've got more power than they really have. We pay them to be there. They should be our servants. If we don't like it, we need then, in my mind, if you have a tyrannical system, what we need to offer the rest of the people is an alternative. Well, he said, well, what is the alternative? And I said, well, people want to sort of say, you know, vote in lots of independent candidates and, and maybe we could get enough that would oust the two main parties. But I said, I think really what we need is an alternative system. I said, but we could start now. What if, and I floated this idea before, I appreciate that. What if we had an alternative government altogether? Not a shadow government, not, you know, the shadow government in, in their House of Commons, but somewhere else, a meeting point. Now, you might need somebody and there must be people who've got a lot of money, who were worried about where we're going and not sure what we can do about it. Maybe, maybe there is some funding. If we were to set up an alternative type of House of Commons, now it might not be set up in the same way with two party system, both beck, uh, you know, each other's beck and call and the Punch and Judy show. Maybe it's a lot more democratic in a big round table affair in which you get the people from the, all the shires and people from anybody who wants to be part of it and we stream it. But we effectively set up another government that acts like a government and discusses policies like a government, but asks the people what policies they want. Do they want these surveillance cameras? Do they want the 5G? Do they want the way the council tax is being collected or it's being assessed? Do they want fines? Do they want the cars driving at 20 miles an hour? Do you want the net zero? Do we want to be pushed into EV cars, for example? Do we want digital IDs? A council, if you like, or a, a government that is, that is debating these things on a national level and it's being streamed with a public gallery that people can come in and contribute to, be part of the national debate, if you like. And then as the debate goes on, this pseudo government would start to say, although it has no power whatsoever and has no pretense of having any power, would debate and, and state how these policies that the people want, that the people, the things they don't want, like the cameras and all the rest of that, and the things that they actually want. We want bigger parks, we want more perhaps areas to grow our food, we want relax on um, certain things that we can do, uh, and whatever it is, we want perhaps more aesthetics in the buildings, we want to reduce the amount of uh, farms being put under new housing and builds, uh, new builds and that sort of thing. Um, and we would much rather see this, that, whatever it is that the people are debating. This, this pseudo government, ready in waiting, as it were, then debates and says how these policies would be funded, how they would be enacted, who would get the contracts and how fairly it would be distributed. All of this streamed so that people could watch the machinations of it. So in other words, 
this old government that are putting in the, the penalties that we're having to pay, the cameras, the traps on the motorways, the speed limits, the, the enforcement agencies, the courts that are coming and taking in their bulk hearings and all of that would be seen for what they are contrasted with this government that's a government in waiting. And when the time is right, as more and more members of the public start to watch, hang on a minute, just a second, there's this which we have, and there's this government that are proposing policies, that are listening to people, taking on board their ideas, showing how they would be funded, how they would be enacted, giving us a more human world that we want, perhaps not 20 miles an hour, perhaps restoring the 30 miles an hour, perhaps not having so many wind farms and the solar panels, perhaps making a, a look at fracking, maybe all sorts of different things which will help us, perhaps not quite so bent on the net zero agenda, perhaps we're getting rid of it altogether, perhaps not so much on the, the woke and the green stuff, perhaps trying to find a happy medium, perhaps trying to sort out that local communities can engage in, in how their community is funded and looked after and presented. And maybe this, it may take time, that the, the general public start to compare the two and say this government is very anti-human with its surveillance and its traps and its digital IDs and its corporation. And then this one that has as yet no power, but it seems to be much more benign, more human, more humble, more listening. The people ultimately could say, well, we don't want this one. We rather like the sound of this one. And although it's not on any official ballot box, the people of the land ultimately have the decision. They can turn their back on the old system, the legislation that is there to penalise people, the cameras that are there to trap and grab their biometrics and all their data. And people may say, actually, this government that's in waiting, that at any moment, if the public decide they want this system, it would just start immediately and that system would finish. This system would say, well, look, we're going to tax you in a different way. It may not be quite so penal. It may be more relaxed. We may abolish all sorts of tax, like the fuel tax. We may not be quite so bad with the inland revenue um, and the customs taxes. We, you know, this government would thrash out the things that people want to, on the basis that the idea is simply to make people's lives better easier, nicer, freer, so people can thrive, be healthier, look after the borders, actually protect the borders, actually have a, a police force that is working like the old constables did in the communities for people. A, a government that actually is working by the people for the people, not a bunch of elites who are trying to find ways to extract money from and have contracts with third parties that are doing these penal things with security guards that you can't get near and everything's decided in smoke-filled rooms in private and all of that. A government that actually is very open and very transparent and is offering its ideas and suggestions and is open for negotiation. If the public started to realise that there was a serious alternative, a different type of system, a different government that they could rely on, judging by the kind of decisions that were being made, that they could scrutinise the funding. Where's the money coming from? Where's the investment for this? How would this work? As more and more people realise there is an alternative, perhaps this alternative is the one that the majority of the country decide to have, making this bunch of old thieving people redundant. They do say, of course, a, a tyrant without followers is just a clown. Maybe if we could 
set up a government in waiting with this humanitarian, this, this policy of doing better, really better for the country, transparently, maybe the members of the public out there who've been disenfranchised and not interested in how the country has run, we start looking at those people who really care. Maybe it could be a good idea to have an alternative government.